Welcome to this video from revisionmaths.com for Revision World TV, looking at Pythagoras' theorem. In this video, I will talk you through the rules to apply before calculating using Pythagoras' theorem, and show you how to apply the Pythagoras' theorem formula. The main rule to remember for using Pythagoras' theorem is it can only be applied on right-angled triangles. So make sure the triangle has a 90 degree angle, like the triangle on the screen. If a triangle does not have a 90 degree angle, you will have to use another method to calculate the missing side's length. You also have to know the length of two of the sides of the triangle in order to use Pythagoras' theorem. In the example on the screen, we know that side A is 4 cm long and side B is 3 cm long, so we have to calculate the length of side C. The equation for Pythagoras' theorem that you will need to remember is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's important to try and remember this equation as you may not get given this formula in some exams. a, b and c are three sides of the triangle, with c always being the longest side which is known as the hypotenuse, and this is always opposite the 90 degree right angle. To use the equation we simply plug in the numbers in the formula. So in this case, a squared becomes 4 squared, and b squared becomes 3 squared. So therefore, our formula is 4 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. We can simplify the formula with 4 squared becoming 16, and 3 squared becoming 9. So 16 plus 9 equals c squared, which means 25 equals c squared. So now we just need to square root the 25, which equals 5. So this means that 5 equals c. Now let's try a different example where you will need to rearrange a formula as we are not looking for the length of the hypotenuse side c, but instead looking for side a in this case. So we've rearranged a formula to a squared is now equal to c squared minus b squared. Putting in the values a squared equals 12 squared minus 9 squared, which is simplified to a squared equals 144 minus 81, which equals 63. So we square root the 63 to give us a equals 7.94 to three significant figures. Thanks for watching and remember to like this video and subscribe to Revision World TV. And remember to check out some of the other videos. Goodbye.